Hi everyone, welcome to the first episode of Aaron's Cocktail Corner, where today we're gonna go over how to make Aaron's classic margarita. Now, if you're part of the 40 people that consistently watch our videos, shout out to you, mom, dad, brother, sister, high school friends, college friends, and extended relatives, thank you so very much. Chances are, some of you have asked me in my personal life to go over making drinks. And at Nandy and Aaron, we give the people what they want. Let's dive right in. First, let's start with the ingredients. A tablespoon of this coarse salt. Freshly squeezed limes. The juicier, the better. Some agave syrup. Tequila, preferably silver. And triple sec. So a brief note here about triple sec. So if you have Cointreau or Salerno at home, those make excellent blood orange liqueur supplements. Uh, I chose triple sec because it is much cheaper compared to the other two, and we're not trying to break the bank. Everyone's saving now for quarantine. Triple sec will do just fine. And for the tequila, I chose Espolón. This is my favorite. It's middle of the shelf. It cost, this cost me about $22 for the bottle. Uh, you don't need super expensive tequila like Casamigos or Patron if you're mixing margaritas. If that's what you like and that's your favorite tequila, then by all means. But a nice bottle of this Silver Escalone does just fine. I highly recommend this. So, step number one is you wanna squeeze your lime juice. For your margaritas, you need about uh, one and a half ounces of lime juice, of freshly squeezed lime juice. So I like cutting that in half. You wanna squeeze it into this bowl here. And I use a fork to kind of work it in there and get as much juice out as possible. So what you wanna do next is salt or sugar the rim. I prefer salt, and many people make this mistake, so don't forget it. You wanna use the lime wedge and put it on the glass. So you want the rim to be nice and wet. You wanna take your salt, you have a nice little bowl like this, Dip it in there. Mm. Your rim is nice and salty. Look at that saltiness. Good, 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 goodies. Now that your glass is salted, and then you have your freshly squeezed lime juice, we're gonna combine all of our ingredients here into a shaker. Now some of you are probably thinking, but Aaron, I don't have a shaker at home. Well, this cost me about 10 bucks from the grocery store down the street. It's super effective when you're making drinks. All it is is, cup, give a strainer, and the lid, super important. But I understand that some of you may not have a shaker at home, so what I used to do is I would take a mug or a thermos of some kind and some other mixing drink, and I would simply pour the mixture back and forth over and over. It's not the same thing, but if you really want this margarita right now, then I recommend this thing. So what we wanna do now, is grab our ice, put a good amount of ice. Now, you wanna add lime juice first. And let me go over this tool here. This is part of a nifty bar set that we got as a wedding gift. This side is 1.5 ounces or any normal shot. This side is one ounce or the approximate size of the shot that my brother can handle before he passes out. So what you wanna do is take one ounce of triple sec, pour that in, an ounce and a half of the tequila, but it's Friday, so we're gonna do a little bit more. A little, bit, a little splash. And then if you don't like your margarita as sour or as you know, strong or pervasive, depending on the tequila, the alcohol that you add to it. Sometimes I add a splash of agave syrup, but this is totally optional. You don't have to if you don't want to. But I'm gonna add a little splash to it. So now once all of that is done, I'm gonna give it a good shake, make sure the lid is everything is on tight. Give it a good shake. All right. Now that that's done, take off the top, and let's pour it in. Now, 
Now, if you really want to impress your partner at home, the finishing touches. A little lime wedge on the side. This concludes my first episode of Aaron's Cocktail Corner. Now, if you want to... Where is my... Here. Thank you. You know I like sugar better, right? If you want to see me make more cocktails, uh, please let me know which cocktails you'd like for me to make and let us know what you thought of this video in the comments down below. I had a lot of fun making this and Nandy is going to have a lot of fun drinking this, apparently. So, we will see you all on the next video. Bye!